Butts up, everybody. <laughs> butts up. Butts up. Butts up. Can't do it. Butts up, everybody. <laughs> butts up, everybody. Do you know that one? What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video. And today is a special video where we're gonna. That's right, Peter McKinnon. What about this one? So if I were to talk to you like this, would you know who this is? Again, I can actually shoot the uh, out in the street version of this. I have to have Sam teach me how to use the stabilizer. And this will hold it totally steady. One secret the stabilizer package for Mr. Neistat. Yeah, it holds the 80. Casey Neistat. Do you guys remember? Remember when the Canon EOS RP came out and this was my reaction? Oh no, no, no! Well, today is... Matty, so there are a couple of people who I watch on YouTube and to get a good intro, to get a good start into a video I find quite hard. I mean, like they, they've all got their own particular ways they'll start a video, like Peter McKinnon's. Hard to replicate, but it's quite entertaining. It's entertaining to watch. That got me thinking, how do you start a video? What do you say? Welcome back to my channel. So roll the intro and then we'll get into this. So hi, and welcome back to my channel, Mule Media, and my name's Alex. But I realized I haven't really given an introduction to who I am or what I'm doing here. Like I said, my name's Alex. I'm a mechanic technician by trade. This has basically become a hobby for me. I actually find it really entertaining doing these edits. Some people say, how long does it take you to do a video? And it's quite a long process. And there's some stuff I didn't realize that were involved in it, but I enjoy doing it. So I'm gonna keep up with him and hopefully you'll see my progression. So if you go back and watch a few of my first videos, you'll see how we're doing it all on a phone. And now, I'm on the Canon 80D. Hopefully you can tell the difference in the quality now. And I'll tell you the previous video, the last video I've just done, I actually found that so much easier to edit using the footage from the camera and the microphone recording to the camera. All played in together so much easier than using the phone. Just for you, Mac. I'm in your office. I might drink your monster. Or I might just remove all the letters off your keypad. Change them about a bit, see if you notice. But you'll not know it with me. <laughs> but yeah, I said I'd try um, some different cine style colour grading this time round. From the last video, we're all filmed in cine style colour graded, and I'll try a different style this time. But yeah, anyway, back to it. I'm a mechanic by trade. Uh, this is all relatively new to me. I've never done no real video work or editing and it's great. I love to learn new things and I consider even in the garage to this day I've been spannering like being a mechanic since I left school basically and I still learn new things now so I can imagine it's the same sort of principle for doing the videos. I'll continue to learn new things and it's great. Every day is a school day. That's one of my sayings. Every day is a school day and I love to learn new things. If you learn something new on a daily basis, it's always good for you. You might watch these videos and think they're rubbish. Then this isn't for you. This is basically me showing how hard it is or how easy things are to learn from a beginner's perspective and what's involved in stuff. So I might actually make a video where I film the footage I need, upload it to me, computer, edit it, colour grade it and do the audio and then put it up to YouTube so you guys can see what's actually involved from start to finish in doing a video um, and, and again down the lines when you put it on YouTube what you put in descriptions, where you put descriptions, where you put titles thumbnails, how to do thumbnails and a little app called TubeBuddy I've been using so if you find that quite interesting Comment down below and I'll make a video on it. What do you think of this office? Do you think this could be my new filming location? I'll keep quiet. We'll see how it goes. The guy who owns, well, the guy whose office this is, 
has just recently subscribed to my channel, so he's definitely going to see I'm in his office. Sorry, pal. And I'm pinching your eye too. So this is a full, a full test for me with a Canon 80D, bit of lighting set up, and seeing how it comes across. I've actually filmed all this process once already, but that were at home, and when I put it onto me editing software, I hated it. So I'm redoing it. Hopefully this turns out a bit better. I love doing random shit. Just chatting shit to myself. I don't like that. <laughs> Do you like that? Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And like I say, if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel, helps me out. And even leave me feedback. I enjoy some feedback. If you comment down below and tell me what you thought of it, what you want to see, if it's quite interesting for you. Brilliant. If I'm helping somebody else out, learning this. If I'm helping somebody else out who's learning this process and trying to know what to do with a camera or what footage to use, editing software, this is all good, honest, um, trial and error stuff for me. So if you're enjoying it, you're learning something from it and I'm learning, brilliant.